Georgia is known for a wide variety of crops, but potatoes, well, they're not one of them. The crop is being grown in gardens around the state, but large-scale production has long been viewed as all but impossible in the state. Well, as you're going to hear in this report from the Monitor's Mark Waldman, one farm has proven that potatoes can grow in Georgia and they can thrive. In Hawkinsville, Georgia, the 2009 potato crop is coming out of the ground. Black Gold Incorporated out of North Dakota runs this operation, and these potatoes are destined for use in the potato chip industry. Jimmy Deloach is the farm manager at the Hawkinsville farm. He is a longtime farmer in the area who once grew cotton and other row crops, but now all he focuses on are potatoes. As far as farming agriculture is my passion, it doesn't matter whether it's a potato or cotton. Uh, I love to, to grow and I love the challenges, but that's one of the things that I actually thrive off of. I love the challenges that, that brought forth and, and to address them and be able to solve those issues. So from that aspect, I love it. The company has many farms located around the country and they all come online at different times to make sure the supply of potatoes keeps flowing. Uh, they have 10 farms in nine different states. And what they, they have tried to do, what the owner, Mr. Howerson, has tried to do is set up farms to meet the market. Uh, we will start in Texas, Florida, Georgia, and we will continue harvesting all the way up till we get to about the Canadian border. Everything done on this farm is carefully planned out at the corporate headquarters. From planting to shipping and everything in between has been arranged. Safety and quality are a major concern for the company. We, we keep a very accurate uh, field rec recording system of everything we do. Uh, we follow the labels sp specifically. We have an, uh, our own agronomy team that makes sure that we do not break the, the laws and the rules as far as chemical applications, fertility. So uh, from, a, from a safety aspect, I think from any farm, we are as safe as we can possibly be. Uh, actually, we have in, uh, been awarded the Environmental Stewardship Award from the potato industry, and that's, that's part of that because we do take great steps to make sure that uh, we main, we, it's, it's our food. You know, I eat it too. Jimmy knows from the day he plants the crop how many pounds he will need to ship on a given day at harvest. We do not harvest over anything that we can't ship. Basically, if the truck's there, that's what we'll harvest for. Uh, so if it's 30 loads a day, that's, we'll harvest 30 loads per day. So how do they get the crop to produce this well in Georgia? Well, for the most part, it is a carefully guarded company secret. Since there is no large-scale production in the state, they have to rely on their own research. We draw from our own corporate experiences, from other farms in our, in our system and, and in other states that have grown potatoes. So that's been one of the challenges. We have an agronomy team set in place that does an outstanding job for us, but just like any other location, they've got to figure out and we've got to figure out what's best for this location, what works here, uh, as opposed to what doesn't work. So that, those are the biggest challenges. Another benefit of the corporate structure is that once one farm finishes their season, the equipment can be loaded up and shipped to another location, thus spreading out the investment. When they come in, it's bringing all our harvesting, all our equipment basically comes moved into the farm, and uh, we put it together and get it ready for, for field work. And then when we finish with that piece of equipment, we'll take, tear it back down, put it on a truck, and move it to one of our other locations. From a corporate standpoint, it allows us to get the maximum benefit of, of the harvesters and the tractors, you know. That's a lot of money that's sitting behind me right there. Currently, the farm does not own land in Hawkinsville. They rent all their acres and are on a three-year rotation. Soon as the season is over here, Jimmy will go out and look for more land. As far as where these particular potatoes go, they have a shelf life of about two days. They will be trucked out of middle Georgia and sent to companies like Frito-Lay and other potato chip companies all over the country to be enjoyed at picnics all summer long. In Pulaski County, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.